come here, I say, I look up to the sky and I actually say, what do you want me to write about today? And then I hear a word or a phrase and I write that down and then from there I pick up what's going on. So the words are actually heaven sent, if you like. You know, they're not, they're not necessarily my words. They're, they're given to me, so I'm very lucky. And, and people see it as me, but as a Satan, I'm just a person. I'm not, I'm not important. It's why when people, they come along and they, they want to take photos of me. What do you want my photo for? What's important about me? There's nothing important about me. What's written down is what's important. You know, that's, that's where the important bit is. Because I can sit here and I can talk to you, but what's there will impact you. to May the 8th last year and on May the 8th last year I took all those tablets and I took them with 40 pounds worth of heroin um, I took uh, four cans of cider and a bottle of um, vodka and I swallowed the whole lot down in about 45 minutes and I literally looked up to the sky that night and I said to God if you want me to live you'll wake me up in the morning and sure enough I woke up in the morning and there was nothing wrong with me at all, not a thing. I was fine. I, I sat on the floor and I prayed for like two and a half hours. And I said to my mum and dad, I was sorry for the person I am, that I'm not the person that they raised and the values they gave me. I said to God, I was sorry for who I am and what I've become. And you know, I didn't see any worth in me. I didn't understand what, why I was still alive. Why, why would God want a person like me to live? I'm walking along talking to the sky, basically talking to God, and I said all this stuff. And at the end of it, I said, I, I, you know, I, I can't ask you to tell people that I've lied and deceived to, you know, to forgive me. But I do ask you to wash me of all my sins. Now, at that very moment, on a perfectly blue day, yeah, the sky was as blue as you like, there were no clouds, one single drop of water fell from the sky, Hit me right there on the head, ran down my cheek, stopped here. And then I just fell to my knees and I cried. And I cried for must have been, you know, a good half an hour. And then it changed. Everything changed. And every day got better. And about four or five days later, I started writing poetry here in the square. I just, you know, went and got some chalk and I started writing stuff down. I didn't even, you know, people just started giving me money you know and I was like oh okay this is okay I, I, I make new poetry up every day I, I write stuff about love peace you know people people thinking about what they're doing how they live the way we live and I lived a life quite proud that you know life was about money life was about possession life was about you know how many holidays you had life was about what kind of car you drove Life was about, you know, what kind of brands you had in the cupboard or, or what brands you wore. And it's nothing to do with that. You know, the world is upside down. I will never work for anybody else ever again. I will never work for another man, ever. I'll only ever do this. Um, and when I can't do this anymore, I pray God will take me and take me from this earth and, and deliver me to heaven. When you go to heaven, they don't say to you, how much money did you make in your life? And, and how many nice things did you have? And which cars did you drive? Oh, well, this is first class heaven over here for you. No, I think you'll find the queen will be in the same room as me when we go to heaven. She's not gonna be in a different place. We are all born equal, but the system is fraud. The system is a lie. Don't live this life.